Today is World Catholic Education Day. We're celebrating the gift of Catholic education along with Catholic schools throughout the world. Publicly funded Catholic education in Alberta is a gift that we acknowledge with gratitude and embrace with determination. Redger Catholic Regional Schools is grateful for the opportunity to provide a faith-based education to more than 10,480 students. We all have a role to play in Catholic education. And we are grateful for the teachers, administrators, support staff, parents, students, trustees, priests, and parishioners who are committed to Catholic education. Please keep our Catholic schools in your prayers that God may lead them in faithfulness, wisdom, and charity.
We begin with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Dear God, you are the source of all that is true and beautiful. We thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to celebrate Catholic education. With grateful hearts, we give you thanks for blessing us with a country that allows us to practice our faith openly and a province that supports our Catholic schools. May our schools continue to be a place where Christ ignites within us abiding confidence in a future filled with hope. Lord, we are especially grateful for the gift of children as they are always a source of hope and joy. As loving parents and dedicated educators, we ask for your help in our mission of raising holy children and guiding others to your son, Jesus Christ. Give us passion and wisdom as we work with one another in the unity of the Holy Spirit. In difficult times and broken places, give us your joy, Lord, your grace, and the powerful presence of your peace. Help us look to one another's needs before our own and always be ready to serve those around us. Give us the courage to go into the world and lead others by your light. For we know where two or more are gathered in your name, you are with us. Together we can accomplish great things, for nothing is impossible with God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Nota we now, kisimani tu, witina hin mina, ganawe minan, anotka kisigak, nianan, ketawa simsak, nape wak egwa if nape sak, iskwe wak egwa iskwe sak, egwa kakyo, kotak. Aye sinawak, ota askik, kita tamihinan, hai hai. Our Father, the Creator, help us and protect us today. All day we are your children, all boys and men, all girls and women, and all others of, na of all nations, all people here, all of the world, we are thankful. Thank you. A reading from the first letter of John. Little children, let us love, not in word or speech, but in truth and action. And by this we will know that we are from the truth and will reassure our hearts before him whenever our hearts condemn us. For God is greater than our hearts and he knows everything. Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have boldness before God and we receive from him whatever we ask because we obey his commandments and do what pleases him. And this is his commandment, that we should believe in the name of his Son, Jesus Christ, and love one another, just as he has commanded us. All who obey his commandments abide in him, and he abides in them. And by this we know that he abides in us by the Spirit that he has given us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial song is... Forever I'll sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. I will sing of your steadfast love, O Lord, forever. With my mouth I will proclaim your faithfulness to all generations. I declare that your steadfast love is established forever. Your faithfulness is as firm as the heavens. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Let the heavens praise your wonders, O Lord, your faithfulness in the assembly of the holy ones. For who in the skies can be compared to the Lord? Who among the heavenly beings is like the Lord? Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Happy are the people who know the festal shout, who walk, O Lord, in the light of your countenance. They exult in your name all day long, and they extol your righteousness. Forever I'll sing the goodness of the Lord.
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John, chapter 15, verses 5 to 12. I am the vine, and you are branches. If a person remains in me, and I remain in him, then he produces much fruit, but without me he can do nothing. If anyone does not remain in me, then he is like a branch that is thrown away, that branch dies. People pick up dead branches, throw them into the fire, and burn them. Remain in me and follow my teachings. If you do this, then you can ask for anything you want, and it will be given to you. You should produce much fruit and show that you are my followers. This brings glory to my Father. I loved you as the Father loved me. Now remain in my love. I have obeyed my Father's commands, and I remain in his love. In the same way, if you obey my commands, you will remain in my love. I have told you these things so that you can have the same joy I have. I want your joy to be the fullest joy. This is my command, love each other as I have loved you. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear children, I know you are not going to the school building. You do not see in person your teacher or your friends, but I also know that as you are staying at home, you are learning to the best of your ability at home because learning is important. It helps us in life. Learning about God is also important. God tells the people how to live, what to do in different situations in life. We can use that knowledge in our lives. We can follow the teachings of Jesus. In the times of Jesus, people, of course, did not have internet. They didn't even have the books or the newspapers. They didn't have computers, phones, or tablets. If they came to listen to Jesus, they could take with them only what they could remember. Jesus, of course, knew that. So Jesus was telling the people a lot of stories we call parables. As the people remembered the story, they also remembered the teaching behind each story. Jesus wanted to pass the teaching of his father to the people, and he did it that way. Just a moment ago, you heard the story about vine. Every tree is composed of trunk, roots, branches, leaves, fruits, and flowers. Vine is a fruit tree. That means vine supposed to produce the fruits. But do you know what happens if the branch will be cut off from the trunk of the tree? That branch dies, is not a part of the tree anymore, and is thrown away and burned, does not produce any fruits. Jesus said to the people, I am the vine, the trunk of the tree, and you are the branches. If you are connected to me, like the branch is connected to the trunk, you will produce the fruits. Without me, Jesus said, you can do nothing. Remain in me and follow my teachings. If you do this, then you can ask for anything you want, and it will be given you. I know that we like to ask Jesus for many things, but do we remember that Jesus said that he will give things to us if we follow his teachings? Do you follow the teachings of Jesus? Do you pray? Do you obey his commandments? Jesus loves you. I hope you love Jesus in return. Have a nice time and a nice day. I love you too. Bye.
As we celebrate today, World Catholic Education Day, we reflect on our theme for the, from the whole year, which is, Lord, light the path, and I will lead others. Seigneur, illumine le chemin, et je guiderai les autres. Let's take a look at how plants grow. You see here, as the time progresses, it's fast forward, this plant is growing in a direction that's specifically towards where the light is. Here, the light has changed. As it went, it changed direction. And it's growing towards the light. Lord, light the path, and I will lead others. Sometimes the Lord changes directions here and there. And as this plant was changing direction, so we also. This is something we know in science as positive phototropism, which is in our curriculum. Light turning in Greek. And it means turn towards the light and grow and bear much fruit, which is what we heard today in our gospel. I am the vine and you are the branches. And Jesus grows as the church grows in the world as we, the branches, searches out the light. And here, Jesus is the vine, we the branches, and his fruit in his ministry is the apostles and the disciples. As a teacher, it is wonderful to see in Catholic education my own students grow, and they are the fruits of my labor. As the vine and branches are searching out and searching out for something stable that they need support on, that can have support and then bear much fruit. It is wonderful to know that in Catholic education, we have those supports. And if we imagine that, in fact, this support is the church, where we receive our sacraments, and also in this side here, we have the support, something solid, which is our Catholic education system where we pray daily, we pray together in liturgies, we sing together, and we learn about the love of God. Sacramentality, we see God in all of His creation. And this is how we celebrate today.
because you have things that unite yourself like clubs and activities and events and they're just all really nice and positive. I like Catholic education because if they didn't have youth ministry I wouldn't be able to find my faith. I wouldn't be able to share my experiences with others or learn from others' experiences or find God or Jesus at all. So with Catholic education, I find it's actually more involved and more caring and people are constantly there to support you and you just constantly make friends and you're always building relationships with others. and. It never feels like you're not getting somewhere. You always have someone and you're always getting... How do I say it? You're always getting to a place where you feel happier. You feel more accepted. You feel like yourself for once. Um, one thing with Catholic education that I've noticed I've been in both sides. I've been in the public education system as well as Catholic education. And Catholic education takes a very hands-on approach in in the class side of things, intertwining um, religion and God and Jesus um, with everyone's own interests. Um, for myself, I'm interested in mechanics, um, but courses that they give us in Catholic education and a few other things coming up, um, they they really tie in God as, with your own abilities and your own interests. I, I find that really cool. So I love Catholic Catholic school because um, what I find myself is getting involved, helping others, and yeah. <laughs> so I personally like uh, being in Catholic education, <laughs> education is because I feel like I'm in a much safer environment as other uh, intuitions. And I feel like in uh, mostly in Catholic education that uh, I feel like I can be more openly in the, in, uh, in the environment around me because like everyone is also much more uh, welcoming and more accepting than 
others, and that's probably one of the biggest reasons why I like to have the education there. Filled with the joy of this celebration, we share our gratitude for the gift of Catholic education. We ask the Lord to hear our prayers of thanksgiving for everything we have received. The, the response, response to, to our, our prayers is, is Lord, Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Bishop Richard Smith, Father Jan, Father Jim, Father Les, Father Leon, Father Liju, Father Mirek, Father Nilo, Father Schmidt, and our parish deacons, that as the par primary teachers in our archdiocese, they will call all of us to ever greater witness to Jesus, who is our good news and our salvation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Por los líderes de la iglesia y del mundo. Porque las decisiones que tomen acerca de la educación sean hechas en sabiduría, a través de reflexión y en oración. For the leaders of our church and the world, that the decisions they make about our education are made with wisdom through careful thought and prayer. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Que la grâce de Dieu leur donne de la fortitude, que l'Esprit Saint leur donne de l'inspiration, et qu'elles sont encouragées par l'exemple de Jésus-Christ. May they be strengthened by God's grace, inspired by the Holy Spirit, and encouraged by the example of Jesus Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we are prayer. Para sa mga halal na katiwala ng ating paaralan, naway pagkalooban sila ng Diyos ng karanungan at ospuso sa mga paghamon na kanilang hinaharap ukol sa edukasyong pangkatoliko. For our elected trustees, that they may be gifted by God with wise and discerning hearts as they respond to the many challenges in Catholic education. We pray to the Lord. الهم الطلاب أن يتعلموا ويعظم الله في بعضهم البعض من الرب نطلب يا رب استمع لصلاتنا For our administrators, teachers, and all educators that they may draw hope from Jesus, the teacher and provide a Catholic education that inspires students to learn and to serve God in one another We pray to the Lord Lord, hear our prayer For all our staff who support our schools let us give thanks for the gifts they share and the support they give to aid our young people in their communities. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all parents that they may grow in appreciation of their call to be the primary educators of their children, especially in handing on the faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Para sa ating mag-aaral, naway maglagi silang makaranas ng pagmamahal, pagpapala at biyaya ng Diyos Ama, gamitin ang mga talento na kaloob ng Diyos para sa kabutihan ng lahat. For the students, may they always experience the blessings, love, and graces poured out to them by God the Father and generously use their talents and gifts for the good of all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our bus drivers, let us give thanks that they will always have God as their co-pilot and they faithfully care for the children on their buses as if they were their own. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those that help maintain our schools and office buildings, may we continue to grow in gratitude for the work they do to keep our communities clean and safe. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
우리의 학교가 캐슬릭 교육 과정에 보금 가치를 결합하여 학생들의 영적 학업과 신체적 성강에 기여하기를 기도합니다. For Catholic education, may our schools continue to nurture the whole child within their spiritual, academic, and physical needs with the integration of gospel values throughout the curriculum. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Módlmy się za tych, którzy sieją ziarno wiary w naszej społeczności, szczególnie za duchownych, którzy prowadzą nas, za rodziców, których przykład naśladujemy, za nasze szkoły, które wprowadzają wartości ewangeliczne do wszystkiego, co czynimy, za wszystkich, którzy prowadzą nas na ścieżce wiary. For all those who help sow the seeds of faith in our community, especially for our clergy, who shepherd us, for parents whose example we follow, for our schools who integrate gospel values into all that we do, for all those who guide us in our faith journey, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our graduates, May their lessons learned in Catholic schools be a source of hope and joy to the world as they incorporate the values and teachings of Christ in all they do. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, source of all blessings, hear all our prayers we have spoken and those remaining in our hearts. Fulfill our needs and guide our actions toward the building up of our kingdom. Continue to bless us with the gift of Catholic education. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Хліб наш насущний дай нам сьогодні, і прости нам провини наші, які ми прощаємо винуватцям нашим, і не веди нас у спокусу, але визволи нас від лукавого. Богородиця Діво, радуйся, благодатна Марія, Господь з тобою, благословена ти між жінками, благословена плідло на твого, бо ти передала Спаса Христа і Збавителя душ наших. Амінь. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. The of May is dedicated to our Blessed Lady and Mother of Church, Mary. We pray to Mary that she may intercede to God on our behalf. For wherever there is faith, there is Mary, the true example of dedicated faithfulness to God. Today we pray to Mary to bless our Catholic schools and strengthen Catholic education throughout the world. Hail, Hail Mary, Mary, full, full of, of grace, grace, the Lord, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus tells us that he loves us as the Father has loved him, and that we are to then love one another. As the vine, Jesus nourishes us so that we can branch up and bear good fruit and show this love of Christ to all whom we encounter. Lord, we pray 
that all those involved in Catholic education look to Jesus for their spiritual nourishment. May we be the light of Christ, showing his love through our actions in all that we do. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. of hope proclaiming a brand new day. 